well this is my last day in abu dhabi guys uh, little sad but it's okay i mean share it and i thought uh, i should show you guys where i'm staying my niece booked this hotel because she wanted a nice uh, luxury experience so we played along with her yeah. well the room is really messy because uh, it's the check out day today i hope you don't mind Now, honestly speaking we didn't think the room would be like this i am not at all impressed even though it's a it's a standard room and economic class room but then uh, how many people want to travel luxuriously uh, i have seen much better standard rooms in other five star hotels and i wasn't really expecting this from sheraton uh, take a look at this it's a twin room obviously i can't show my room for obvious reasons so, <laughs> this is where my niece and my mom are staying Uh, there's a mini bar as well here. This is the fridge. For some reason, it's hot. Ah, uh, they got beers, wines, and cold drinks. Here is the wardrobe. This is the washing area. Hot and cold water. the bathroom the bathroom's quite nice actually it has a bathtub the bowl mm not sure what this is for maybe to light up candle there And this is the shower is a couch to say this is all my mom's shopping there's a tv the balcony i already showed you and this is the area that i really liked you know just place your laptop here and uh, you can edit stuff and there's a very nice and comfortable recliner as well uh, well if you're traveling for a business trip uh, then it's a good room but then i would advise not to book a twin room it's of no use the beds are connected i mean do you expect two separate people to hold their hands while sleeping <laughs> Okay, jokes apart. The table is quite good. It's quite handy. You know, really useful. There's a table lamp. Uh, that's it. Nothing much to show in this room. I don't like it actually. Sofitel Hotel. So there's a lovely pool in the back. You have a bonfire here at night. There are nice open restaurants. And look at this, my favorite part of the hotel. They have their own private beach. Now people are sunbathing, so I obviously cannot record much at the beach, but I hope you get the idea. There's a gym. back into the hotel well i couldn't show you the spa and the saloon and lot of other uh, amenities that you get at this hotel because people are having a nice personal time and i can't really encroach their privacy uh, for obvious reasons anyway uh, if you want good amenities uh, this place this is a very good hotel as you just saw a uh, lot of europeans staying here today 
Well, it boils down to what kind of budget you have. I mean, we have paid about 100 euros for this room, so this is the deal that we have. But then look at the amenities. They're just perfect. If you want to lay low for a few days, it's a perfect place to stay at. Anyway, so I have uh, mixed kind of feelings. Uh, I hope the room was a little bigger and, uh, you know, the in-room facilities could have been a little better, but then you get what you pay for. I gotta go take a shower and then I'll be going to the President's Palace to see a light show, which will be playing 